Tune in. Talk to us some more. Yes. Console. Tune in. What you doing? In? So we're going to click through these a little bit because he had a lot of shit. And we just wanted to see if we could talk to him a little bit about... The burning know. library. Yeah. Or like what we're supposed to be doing or... Um, okay. <gasps> okay. Restrictions of forbidden knowledge, I guess, because that's... We're going to go look at libraries. Kairos herself sets the standards of what kind and cannot be known. These restrictions are already enforced, blah, 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 during the war. Kairos deemed the knowledge of the Valum Citadel, Citadel taboo. Uh, no one may possess the wisdom of that fallen repository, save Kairos herself. Huh. Kairos at all taboo. She seems a bit like overkill, but to play Kairos' advocate, the world would hardly be safer if all had access to the lore of making poisons or the art of arming brigands and fine bronze. Huh. This is for the protection of our subjects before the coming of Kairos, blah, blah, blah. Am I beholden? That should not be in question. We are all subjects of Kairos. <laughs> As an agent of law, you are granted more leeway. You may find yourself compelled to commit morally questionable acts in the name of Kairos. If it serves the court's justice, much may be forgiven. Okay, cool. Huh. Yeah, uh, I guess... Should we ask about the old walls a little bit? Sure. I am curious, because... The old walls are forbidden, as other contents in the distance. Only any item from the old walls is considered trespass, regardless of how it came into your possession. Mind that in the course of your travels. As the old walls extend across much of the tiers of Northern Empire like Kairos permits her servants to pass only where she sculpted the landscape to permit Tervis. Under no Tervis? Tervis. <laughs> Under no circumstances are you to enter a breach as the old walls, even if your task is innocent, is crossing to the other Sid. The other Sid? If these restrictions seem too severe, I would remind you there for the protection of Kairos' subjects. The Overlord has little desire to see harm needed to see inflicted upon her loyal followers. Okay. Cool. Well... That wasn't that much information that we didn't already know. Maybe one day, Tunin will be in charge. <gasps> I mean... He's like, what, not, what did you say? Not Nothing! Not okay. good. We're, Nothing! We're fine. Don't listen to me! Okay, goodbye, all the fate binders. We're Bye. gonna go... I guess down there. To the Vellum Citadel. Well, it's a bit different now. Yeah, it's Because you vellum. did some stuff. What? Was I drunk again? Yes. <laughs> so... Remember that one time I burned down a library? <laughs> Where are the other spires? There's one spire up there, one spire right there. Yeah. And the other one's like down there. Huh. I don't know how we get to those later. I'm going to go yeah. this guy. Oh my gosh. Because if we can... Oh, we can't port from there to there, but we can walk. It's on the way. You yes. couldn't just go there? I could, but I, it was flashing. I wanted to see if maybe we had some oh, stuff to collect. Oh, okay. I didn't notice that. I was like, well, that's not where we're going. Why are you clicking that? <laughs> I <laughs> love the loading screens. <laughs> I know. They're your faves. Just look at it. We get to see all the birds in the sky. Oh, there look we go. Look at them boys! Oh, we got our missive. Ooh. Ahem. Greetings, Sparkles. You are correct. There are spires all across Teratus. The exact distribution of these monuments fuels all sorts of debate and speculation, but two facts seem commonplace. Most spires are built near old walls. Your mountain spire is a notable exception. And nearly every culture that predated Kairos has some local myth to explain the builders of these spires. I believe the Tearsmen cite the Older Realms as their local name for the spire Old Walls Architects. But nobody knows for sure. And of course, where Kairos has brought proper so Jesus. Okay, okay, most Some of it's yours. Some of it's that from ours. Yeah. Has brought proper civilization. The origin of the spires simply isn't discussed in good company, but here's what I think you ought to know. First, the spires behave as arcane lodestone. There's a constant field of magical strength around a spire. If you imagine a mystic sea resting atop our world, the spires seem to spin and churn this magic, creating a spell cast with even modest effort will materialize with powerful results. Second, and I'd say most tellingly, Kairos has laws against entering the Old Walls, but there are no laws against the Spires. You can infer from this that means Kairos has no issue with the lay folks messing with the Spires, but wishes to keep us safe from the Old Walls. Or you could think like an overlord, and know that if you place a rule against something, you make it forbidden and desirable. Now, I mind it telling that Kairos forbids the hallways that lead to the Spires, but does not paint a target on the Spires themselves. Hmm. Last but not least, as the... What? Why is... They forgot an end tag. I guess, jeez. <laughs> Because that's all, like, for Kairos. Wow. Yeah. Uh, last but not least, as young Fatebinder, I once had to oversee the case of a man who had built a shrine to Kairos around the base of a spire in the far southeast. I could find no evidence of falsity or slander. His shrine was the most reverent and loving tribute as I've ever seen. At one point, this man claimed he had evidence that Kairos was here back in negative 50. He had merely uttered these words, and my senior binder swung the axe then and there. Oh, shit. Being the new girl at the court, I said nothing, but I have long wondered why such a comment should require death instead of the traditional removal of the tongue. <laughs> God. Okay. So you can Damn. inquire about edicts and their nature. Yeah, do it. And you sent it. this. Oh, wow. That's way shorter. Uh, dear Myothis, I'm sorry that you had to read such a long one. It's okay. <laughs> 
Thank you for hearing me out. I have more questions that I, uh, than I have ink, but let's start with a discussion of Kairos' edicts. I've lived under proclaimed and resolved edicts, which makes me far more knowledgeable than the layperson on the subject, and yet I still know so little. Sparkles! Send. I like to think that I sign it with a heart. Yeah. Put some actual, like, glitter in uh. there. Makes sense. So let's grab uh, if we found anything. Good. Give us all the shit. Ooh, bronze greatsword. That's pretty sweet. It's pretty sweet. But we have bronze great axe, so that's better. And iron axe, okay. Fish, fruit, raw meat, camping supplies. Oh, snap. God, we can always get, like, camping supplies when we come back here. I guess, yeah. There's plenty of them. All right, okay. bye, guys. Goodbye. Burning library, here we go. Gonna burn it. I Again. Mean, you did that. Wait. Yeah. What? A big volcano. I don't know what you're talking about. Whoa. Yeah, you did that. See, that's where the walls were down there. No. You made that mountain pop up. No, I'm pretty sure I had nothing to do with that. Well, we're gonna find out. Oh, we got a missive. Hello. Oh, uh, she's back. Do you want me to read it? No, it's it's cool. It's cool. I'll read it. Okay. You, you chill you your. You want to do it? All right. You chill your butt. Okay. Relax your balls, Pete. Ah, oh, relaxed. <laughs> uh, salutations, Sparkles. Whoa, fancy. It is difficult to separate fact from superstition when it comes to the edicts, as it uh, as it seems only Kairos knows how it all works. The rest of us are left to live in fear and ponder it all. Kairos' edicts are a sort of magic above and beyond even the Archons. I dare say the edicts are stronger than Kairos, as there's no evidence Kairos can will willingly stop an edict once set into motion. Which is in part why Kairos' edicts seem to have an, uh, an until or unless clause in their wording. Oh, okay. Uh, I know the edict, as powerful as it is, requires a human voice to complete the casting. Thus, the Overlord has people like you proclaim edicts uh, cast far from the Imperial throne. The magic is, is Kairos' magic, but the human voice is the final carrier or trigger to complete the magic phenomenon. And here's what's most fascinating. At least as far as you're concerned. Uh, there have been dozens of mortal agents who have been made to proclaim edicts. Two-thirds of them die within a decade, and many gave reports of lingering mystic scars from the ordeal. And there have also been a handful to resolve or break an edict, and these until and unless clauses get fulfilled from time to time, and we see a similar pattern in history. Those who resolve an edict often live short lives, and many speak of, an ar of arcane side effects of the shattered edicts. Here's where you're unique. To the best of my fact-finding, you were the first to proclaim and break the exact same edict. Whatever mystical power is involved in the creation and destruction of such magics, you're the first to stand at the, at the terminus of both. Now that I know the spires can be awoken, it makes sense that if anything can or would wake them from a slumber, a shattered edict seems like a... Bleh. Seems, bleh. seems the likely culprit. Bleh, bleh, bleh. Kairos has other edicts in place throughout the tiers. If you wish to learn more, perhaps you should take it upon yourself to shatter those edicts. After all, if Kairos did not wish for the edicts to be broken, why include a termination clause? Oh. Hmm. Okay. So we're still saying your advice. I appreciate the information. Thank you for sharing. Knowing what you know of my situation, what would you do? Does that sound like you? Sounds pretty much exactly. Sparkles! Oh, God. I thought you were me for a minute. I know. I'm too good it was at crazy. impersonation. All right. Well, let's see what we got here. Oh, some fire. Beautiful okay. fire. I'm going to go over here where Sounds there's good. more fire. Yeah. Go around the side. Perfect. Oh, some fire. Maybe we can go cooking. Mm-hmm. Okay. Can't do that. Is that, oh. is that a dead guy in there? This is interesting. Oh. It's a dead end, but it has a thing. What are those? I think those are people on spikes. They're disfavored. Oh, I see. Scroll. Sigil of Reaching Grasp. Oh, Lantry can read that. Um, Shit! Where'd he go? There's... Yeah. Yeah. Yeah! Oh, this one. Yeah! Oh my gosh. I have to do more spells sometime. Sigil of Reaching Grasp 2. Oh, it's like a stronger reach. Oh yeah, sweet. Ooh. And this one is... Ooh, increases the spell's armor penetration. Woo! Woo! Oh, God, she has a lot of lore. I gotta give her more spells. Remind me after this session to uh, to spell her out a little bit. Spell her out! I guess I should look over here if it's just a dead end. Yeah, probably. Can't do that. Yeah, just kind of fucking walk. It's all, Can't do that! It's all over. You don't know what's over here. Oh, there's people. There's guys. Foul murmur and a fallant. 
And a okay. dead body. I'm looting it. Uh, give me that. Give me that. Give me that beast blood pollen. Mm, a twisted man you. leans over two forms on the ground. One a robed figure covered in bruises. The other a soldier, horribly burned, laying motionless to the side. The bloodstained man flashes a gap toothed smile. I welcome you properly, fight binder, but my hands are full. As if that reminds him, he looks down and absolutely licks a drop of blood from his finger. Fear on business, you should speak with our leader, the censor. Tents to the east, near the main entrance to the library. Our troops are making great progress in the ruins below. They can benefit from your assistance. Okay. I know how this must look, but it's all in compliance with Tunin's law. Shrug and shrug. If you don't mind, I'm eager to resume my work. Okay. Bye. Bye. That's all the option. Oh, well, you can talk to Fallon. He's cool. Nope, you can't. Ha <laughs> I fooled you. You idiot. Is there anything over here? You know, that guy. Ooh, Sorry, another body. Can't. There's another body. The, the bodies hit the floor. Ooh, oh cool. my god, Tower hit the shield floor. And a shattered iron sword. Okay. Alright, let's go in the camp. Okay. And boop, speed up. Here we go. Run and fast. Look at us. Zoom, zoom, zoom. <laughs> okay. We're zooming. Slow down. Fatebinder, your blood lightning is legendary. The sensor would be honored to receive you. I'm going to take your shit first. Doot, doot, doot. Can't get that. Aww. Because it's can't be supplies. Oh, is that a shit. gold bar? I think so. I'm going to take this too. Locked! Scroll. Oh, iron ingots. <gasps> Gasp. Who is the censor? I don't know. We'll never find out. Dun, this dun, is dun. interesting. Hello. Oh, if it isn't the fate binder of Tudin. What an unexpected surprise. Or do you want to read this one? Whatever. I, read that. I am the censor. Welcome to my camp. Let's go to see a familiar face. Uh, her voice. Oh, it's a woman's voice. Yeah. Maybe I will read it. The woman's voice carries a <laughs> genial tone that doesn't quite carry all the way through her words. Your choice not to send our troops to clean up the mistakes of the disfavored resulted in my crew having a few extra bodies to it. I suppose I owe you my thanks for that. So that was, yeah, when the disfavored scouts were lost during a mission outside the Vellum Citadel, we consigned them to their fate. Better to suffer the scars of a lesson learned than, instead of sending them right, to go look for yeah. them. You might find it interesting to know that the bodies of that troop were recently found, but uh, were recently found, but my men haven't had time to fully scavenge the area. You might find something interesting out there if you're so inclined to take uh, to first. take first pick of the spoils. That so we unlocked a location on our map, so it looks like we can oh. go check out what happened there. Interesting. Okay. Sadly, I must say, I can't entertain you properly at the moment. You've come very busy at a very busy time for me. We're making a bold push to explore the library steps. However, before we finish our pleasantries, you could satisfy my curiosity. Why are you here? Who the fuck are you to ask? Yeah, what the hell? Oh. Um, mm. Let's see. Could knock her down a peg. We could. And we are in charge, right? We're the we're the we top are. dog. Um. I don't appre appreciate being questioned, Censor. I am Tunin's fate finder. I need no excuses or invitations. Oh, snap. Oh, favor with Bleed and Mark. Good. Okay. I think he's the guy, like, we, we, do, we want to stay on his good side because he's the assassin. Yeah. Of course, fate finder. My apologies. It would seem my proclivity for bluntness got the better of me. Again, welcome. What brings you to my camp? <laughs> yeah. I just told you I didn't want to tell you. Yeah. Uh, Narat wants me to get shit. Ah, you must mean the silent archive. I had hoped to have retrieved it already to avoid just such a problem. Fortunately, we haven't finished our search yet. If your goal is to find it, you should know that it's not easy as just not as easy as just walking in there and taking it. No. Yeah, well, I'm a fate finder, so screw you. Yeah, pretty awesome. Uh, it seems that the tricky sages were afraid someone might want to take their precious archive and hid it behind a barrier, arcane, impenetrable. Really a shame how many men we've lost to rebounding spells. Um, or rebounding spells, I guess. Yeah. Um, so my men are looking for the passcode to get beyond it. We don't know how many parts there are, just that they're somewhere inside the library. 233. Oh my god. That's so many. Not even these scholars have been able to find the pieces for us. Not yet, anyway. She motions to a nearby sage who stands with his head bowed in shame. Shame! <laughs> uh, so I gave everyone some incentive and made a game out of it. Uh... Typical course, not a shred of subtlety. You always come in and run roughshod all over things. Pain and torture being used as a game? Atrocious. It's interesting that people don't understand how to properly motivate their underlings. 
If you don't keep them busy, they have time to plan, and that is never good. You're welcome to enter the library, provided you agree to play by the rules of the competition. Oh, boy. I teach with excitement! <laughs> <laughs> if you want to find the silent archive, you must take part in my game, too. Mm, oh, look. See. We could actually betray them and just go on our own. Yeah. Be like, all right, fuck you, disfavored. Fuck you, Scarlet Chorus. Yeah. All y'all. Um... Let's see. I'm kind of curious what the Edict of Fire one is, because I... That was what we did. No, I know. I'm wondering if that's like a, hey, do you know about this? And do you know that I made it? And then <laughs> oh, yeah, you, you could. But I don't know if that's where that goes. I don't know. Maybe. So, um, What's up to you? Let's see. Tell me what you know about the Edict of Fire, I guess. I believe the Silent Archive at the heart of the Vellum Citadel was never destroyed. If that's true, it would explain why the Edict is ongoing. Uh, if someone were to get down there and remove the silent archive from the library, I'm willing to wager it could be used to fulfill Kairos' will. Interesting. Okay. Tell me about your game. Several Scarlet Chorus teams were dispatched down to the ruins of the library, each with some sages to serve as guides. The team who completes the passcode, gets through the barrier, and gains access to the silent archive will face glory and reward. The others? Blah! Blah! <laughs> Only one is allowed to succeed. If you wish to join the Merry Hunt, you will be yet another team racing against the others. Though you won't be getting any sages, of course. Of course. You have sages working with you? How did you manage that? Uh, the chorus can be most persuasive at times, and you know how we like to employ unconventional incentives. Oh, is that what you call it? So we don't actually have a choice to be like, okay... Well, we can ask. Maybe we have to ask this. Yeah, I guess. It. What is the silent archive, I guess? Uh, the archive is the sage's most guarded treasure, held in a grand chamber, thought to contain more knowledge than all the tears combined. Whoa, oh, boy. While she's uh, speaking to you, one of the horde approaches her with a parchment held out before him. She takes it from him, her head never turning to look away from you. There's a brief flare of bluish light from her hand, and she hands the parchment back to the horde. Stop bringing me words I've already taken, or I will have your head. She speaks slowly, still looking at you, but with every word, the horde pulls back as if he's about to be struck. Put them in a separate pile so you know I've had them, or ask someone to read them to you. If, uh, let's see, if I have to take in the same inane missive one more time, you will regret it. The horde backs away, murmuring apologies profusely as he does. I'm sorry you had to witness that. Now, where was I? Oh yes, the silent archive. Uh, our scouts have reason to believe it survived. Some magic keeps the library from being swallowed by fire, so perhaps it too protects the silent archive. We've come to destroy the archive in Kairos' name. Uh, let's see. What happened with that missive? What was that flash of light? I don't see how that's pertinent, but if you must know, you're not the only one with unique talents in the tears, Fatebinder. Not everyone needs to use their eyes to read. Sending me to a library seemed obvious. What a perfect way to collect knowledge. Narat has taken a particular interest in me and my talents, and is working with me to refine them. I see. Hmm... You're going to destroy the Silent Archive? An artifact with more knowledge than all the tears combined? Of course, Fatebinder. It is forbidden knowledge, after all, and it's not like Narat doesn't have a plan. Never fear. We will deal with the Silent Archive appropriately. Oh, look. We have enough lore to, to note this. Because hmm. she has the ability to touch stuff and retain their knowledge. So even if it gets destroyed, I think she's trying to plan to be like, all right, well, let me get all of it. And then, oh, it's destroyed. Now I'm the only one that has it. Huh. I think she she's sending in people that can't read, so they have to bring it to her to check. Exactly, yeah. Mm. So that's what this is about. Yeah. Did you just imply to a fate binder that you intend to retain all the knowledge in the silent archive? Uh, certainly not. I have no idea how you got that idea, so put it out of your head. Narat knows Kairos' laws and would never do anything to openly break them. Okay. You're okay. Right. Okay. Um. Honestly, I don't really know what to do. Yeah? Hmm. I mean, it's up to you. Like, I, I'll fight whoever. Like, we have, we have a good, we have a full squad now. Mm -hmm. So kind of what we do here is, and we have a lot of evidence against, um, the Scarlet Course already. We actually have, like, no evidence against the disfavored so far. Yeah. 
Um, but I don't know. It's up to you. If we do betray light, so as far as I know, there's four endings to this game. Okay. Um, there's one where you continue to side with Scarlet Course. Mm -hmm. There's one where you continue to side with Disfavored. Mm -hmm. There's one where you side with the Tearsmen and like the locals. Okay. Um, and the rebels. And the other one is if we do betray Alliance, it's it's called the Anarchy one. It's where you're siding with no one. You're just in it for yourself. Interesting. You're like, you know what? I don't like you. I don't like you. Fuck y'all. <laughs> I'm doing my own thing. Hmm. And, and that's basically it. So right now we're going down the Scarlet Chorus path. Disfavored and the Rebel one we can't do. Yeah. But if we ever betray our alliance, that will put us into the Anarchy path. Interesting. I don't... I'm fine with either because I've never seen the end of any Yeah, of them, I have so. no idea. So... It's really up to you. Well, I think maybe we should make this decision next time. Oh, you think so? All right. I, I think maybe. We'll join you guys next time then. Uh, see you tomorrow where we'll uh, decide if we're going to play nice with the Scarlet Chorus or not anymore. <laughs> okay, bye. Bye.